What is up guys? So let's talk about progression and progressive overload. Okay, so the question we're going to talk about today is what does progressive overload or progression in general exercise look like? Okay, so is it increasing weight when you exercise? Is it more reps? Is it different tempo? Is it making the exercises harder? Or can it even be staying the same? All right, so more likely than not, you've heard the story of Milo and how he had a bull and he lifted it over his head every day for a year. So obviously the bull gets bigger. And that's kind of been the defining you know, thing of progressive overload for a long time. So he lifted a little bit heavier every day, every day, every day, and he got a little bit better. Okay, so that's like the basic old school standard definition of progressive overload. Now, while adding weight to exercises is what progressive overload is, it is not the full story and it is not likely that you're gonna be able to go up in weight in movements you know, every time, every time you lift, especially as you've been training for longer, okay? It is not, it's not feasible to think that you're gonna go up 20 to 30 pounds in your bench press every single month. I mean, it's just not gonna happen. If you did that for 10 years, you'd be deadlifting like 14 houses, okay? That's not gonna happen. So, get out of that mindset of having to go up and wait every time and let's, let's look at some of these other things that can happen, you know, to basically be the same thing. It's gonna be progression, it's gonna be overload, okay? So yes, progressive overload can mean increasing weight. And that is what it's gonna be if you're a beginner or you're just starting out working out, okay? You're gonna go up and wait quite a bit pretty fast at the start. But progressive overload can also mean more reps. Okay, so if you do 225 pounds of the bench press for eight reps, but then the next week or the next month you can do it 10 to 12 reps, that's overload because you're doing more total volume. It can also mean you're doing it at a different tempo. So if you do eight reps on bench press, 225, and you do it at just a regular tempo, call it two seconds on the way down, no pause at the bottom, and then explode on the way up, while that's awesome, if you're able to slow that down to go three or four seconds on the way down, a slight pause while maintaining tension at the bottom and then exploding up, you've overloaded your body in a different way and you've increased your time under tension. So you've had that load on your body for longer than you did with the other tempo. So you didn't go up and wait, but you did increase the tension. So that's still another way to overload. Now, another way to progress, making the exercise harder. So say you're starting out, you start with air squats, okay? You master that, you go up to a goblet squat where you hold the kettlebell dumbbell out front. You master that, then you go up to a dumbbell front squat where you're holding two kettlebells or two dumbbells. Then we move to a barbell front squat or a barbell back squat. That's overload as well. Some of the loads may stay slightly the same, but the exercise is getting harder, so that's an option to overload as well. Now, at the bottom, you see I say staying the same. Now, this is going to be a little bit controversial, but what the point I'm trying to make here is that if you feel like crap, for a week or for a day or whatever it is, and you can do the same weight as you did last time you did the workout when you were feeling great, in my opinion, that's progression and that's overload, okay? You're not gonna have an A-plus day in the gym every time you hit it, it's just not gonna happen. Some days you're not gonna be feeling it, but if you push through and you're able to do the same thing, that means you're better than the last time you did the workout. So I hope that makes sense. You know, if it doesn't, kind of leave me a comment below, we'll talk about it. So, not necessarily the same, as these when we're talking about progressive overload and progression, but in my opinion, it is overload because you hit something that you hit on a good day on a day that you weren't feeling so great. So the answer to this question, all of these things are progression and they are overload, okay? So get out of that old school thought that it has to just be going up in weight for it to be progressive overload. All of these things, if they're going up and they're trending in the right direction, mean you're getting better. Okay, so any questions on this, leave a comment below, we'll talk about it. Or if you wanna see any other videos from me, let me know that as well. So anyways, that's it for this. Have a good day, guys.